Well, happy Sunday everybody. This is a uh, freshly trash picked guitar. Um, found this sun this morning, 9 a.m. on the way to church. I always zigzag through the alleys and I saw this peeking out of a trash can. Um, it's a very common sight to see these uh, kind of uh, PlayStation guitars that look like a Fender, they say Fender, and you see this from a distance, you think it's a real guitar. I kind of thought that was what it was at first, but then I got to see, you know, it had real strings on it and it said Squire. So I knew that it was a real guitar. Um, I grabbed it right away and I took a quick glimpse around to see if there was an amp or anything else because there was a bunch of garbage, looks like somebody they were doing a clean out. Um, and where this guitar was, there was like some household items, but there was also some regular garbage, and I don't usually dig through that. I mean, some people do, but um, I don't usually dig through like kitchen garbage and stuff like that, and I don't know, like old br hair brushes with hair, that grosses me out, so. But later on I was thinking, you know, maybe there is an amp inside that trash can, and you know, I said, talk myself into going back and looking. Um, but I did, I, I just took a look and I just moved a few things and it, it was really, there might have been some useful things in that trash can or several trash cans, but um, it just wasn't worth digging through to get like a basic amp. It was pretty gross. So, um, mainly I didn't try this guitar out yet. I figured I'd try it out on camera to see what it, if it works. Um, and also I just want to ask, what do you think I should do with this? I don't really need it. Um, but I, I could put this up on Facebook Marketplace probably today as it is for 40 and just sell it quick. Um, I used to try to like clean them up and put new strings on, but some people still beat you down on the price. So I've kind of discovered it's not really worth, sometimes it's not really worth fixing up a guitar and putting new strings on it to sell it on Facebook Marketplace because people still just try to drive the price down. So the last, and I like to sell things quick. I don't like answering a ton of questions and taking like a month to sell something. I'd rather just sell it the day that I put it up or whatever. So I can either sell this for 40 bucks, just set it aside in case someone has a project, or just clean it up um, as it is, put new strings on it and keep it for now. Um, or if someone has, out there has an idea of something that I haven't done before that I can do fairly cheap, uh, what, what's your idea what I should do with this guitar? Um, I do like the large headstock and I like it might not show up but this has like these staggered pole pieces and I'm not staggered but they they go up in the middle they're not all the same size I don't know the real name for it but in the past I thought personally I thought those sounded the best of these Squire um, pickups, but um, the only, uh, you know, I see that it needs a neck adjustment for sure. Uh, there's, the string height is really, really high, the action is really high, and I just see one of the, part of the, the cover on the back of that um, tuner is missing. Um, it looks like it's a, by the um, serial number, it looks like this was a 2003, and it was made in Indonesia which in the past I've also thought Indonesian uh, squires were pretty good. Um, but anyway, let me plug it in and then we'll see for the first time if, if the electronics are working. So I did notice that the, the jack is um, loose, which is pretty common on these. Okay, so The volume pot is a little scratchy. A little scared to... I'm just tuning it to itself. I'm a little afraid to tune it um, just because the strings are so rusty. Uh, hold on, let me tune this really quick. So everything works electronically, it just needs to be cleaned. Um, 
needs new strings, and it'll be a playable guitar, a neck adjustment. It's really hard to play right now due to the string height. Um, I don't have any gauges to tell you how high they are, but they're, it's high. Um, and the, the electronics are dirty, dirty as you can hear. Other than that, pretty decent guitar. Um, definitely didn't deserve to be thrown away in the trash, but uh, as you could probably see, that somebody's either doing a clean, cleaning out someone's house or someone moved out and left the stuff there. You see, I see that a lot in town. People rent and then they, they leave and they leave stuff there. Um, or somebody's evicted. I don't. I don't know the story. But um, at any rate, got this saved out of the garbage. I'm pretty sure somebody. If I didn't get it, somebody else would. Um, because you know that there's value in this. Not not a whole lot, but it's it just the value to me is actually finding it. I re I really enjoy finding guitars. Um, and I look, I look every day in the trash. I don't, because I live in a small town. I don't go out. I know some people seem to go out, um, you know, the day before trash day or the morning of trash day. I'm, if I have to go to the other side of town, I'm constantly going up and down the alleys, and that's the way I find things. Um, that's, and there's, there's times that you know, I know that I miss things because I bought two guitars. Uh, cheap, but I bought two guitars from a guy that found um, some in the trash. One was a Squire, just like this, black, uh, but with a small headstock. And um, the other one was a first act guitar, the same kind of style. But anyway, this video is long enough now. I just wanted to show this because I thought it was cool. And I just wanted opinions on what, what you think I should do with this um, black strap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.